So, a bit about computer networks. First of all, why do we need them? Well, he's happy because he's got access to a printer that's connected to his computer. He's not so happy because he hasn't. But if his computer connected up to the other fella's computer, then he'd have access to the printer as well. And that will be called a peer-to-peer -peer computer network. Full computer networks can also share things other than printers, such as access to the internet, files and directories, such as the central resource library in a school, different programs and software. Users can log on on different machines, any machine on a network, and this is known as hot seating. All computers would be connected up to a big computer called a server, and the server would store everybody's My Documents and Files. That server would be backed up regularly so that everybody's work was safe, just in case that server exploded. So there's another benefit of networks too. Different network layouts, and there are some of them, but by far the most popular these days is the bus layout. And most networks use the bus layout to have what is called Ethernet networking where we use Category 5 Ethernet cabling. It plugs into the back of your network interface controller, your network card in the back of your computer. And that plugs into a wall socket at the other end that connects you to the bus network, to the Ethernet network. There's a diagram of an Ethernet bus network. And also on there, as well as those sorts of devices, we might have hubs and switches that help expand the network and make it bigger. Talked a bit about this thing called a server. So the server is a really big computer with lots of storage space to store everybody's files, but also manages um, people's logins and passwords, and also manages access to files for different people. So some people can access some files, other people can't. Big companies will have big server rooms, such as this one. And even bigger companies will have what are called server farms. One last thing about networking, there are two uh, sizes of network. The first might be the LAN, the local area network, which might be a network that is inside a building or a site, such as a school. Then we've got the WAN, the wide area network, which is a network that stretches right across the world. So multinational companies might have WANs that go right across the world. The one that we're most familiar with using will be the internet. 